All right, everybody, got a quick YouTube video for you today. We're gonna talk about wash sales. But before I do that, hopefully you're able to enjoy some time off with family and loved ones this Thanksgiving holiday. And hope, and if you are enjoying my content, I would, there are three things I want you to do, just three things. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. So, I'm gonna talk about wash sales today. I'm gonna walk through it what they are, well, maybe we'll do a quick calculation, but let's talk about it. In this diagram down here, I put it down here on the whiteboard, this is important, and this is where I want you to, to focus on as I kind of go through these points. So, a wash sale is when you buy a security within 30 days before or 30 days after you sold it. It can be the same or substantially similar. Now, I, I, I think there's always some clarification of what substantially similar is. Uh, I mean, if you bought Vanguard's total stock market index, which is VTI, and then you sold it at a loss to get VOO, it tracks a different index, even though the, the performance is similar, so that doesn't qualify. But um, personally, where I've seen it is when you buy the same stock. And so, this is where it comes into play. And let me, let me break it down with this diagram here. So this is the date that you sold the stock at a loss. For clarification, if you sell it for a gain, none of, none of this applies, none of this applies. It's only if you sell it at a loss. So you have the date that you sold it here, at a loss, this date. If you had bought 30 days before or 30 days after, this is where you'll get caught in that wash sale. Anytime outside of that, you're okay. Now you're thinking, well, 30 days before, how can I get caught in that? Well, let's say you have a stock like a Procter & Gamble that paid a dividend and you reinvested it. Most people take their dividends and they use that money to buy additional stock, reinvesting the dividends. That dividend reinvestment could get you caught in a wash sale. That's what I mean. Like you could have had a dividend reinvest in here and then you sell your position at a loss and that would cause a wash sale. Now, if you, so what I said is if you buy the same or substantially similar security, the losses are disallowed, and, but that loss is added to the new cost basis. We'll walk through a couple examples, except if you do it in a retirement account, that loss is permanently disallowed. So people will get caught up in this idea of I can go, let's say I sold Procter & Gamble at a loss in my main account and then I go and buy a retirement account thinking, okay, I can out, you know, skirt the, the rules. No, the loss that you had in, in Procter & Gamble now is permanently disallowed. It's not even added to your cost basis. You, you lose it. So you want to be careful with this. Typically what you'd want to make sure of is if you're going to sell a stock, do you think it's going to go up in the next 30 days or so? Sorry, truck. Um, do, you, do you think it's going to go up within the next 30 days? If you do, then hold on to it. If you think that's gonna stay down for a few months, then sell it, that's okay. So let's, let's walk through an example. Let's walk through an example because I think this will help. And we'll, we're gonna use made up numbers. Okay. And this is what we're gonna talk about. Yeah, I know my daughter kinda marked on the board here a little bit. Okay, so let's say we have, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my head in front of here, and I'm gonna write and then I'll point out. So let's, let's say here we have, we buy, we'll buy one share of Tesla, okay? And we bought four, we'll buy it for $1,200. And then I uh, sell it, you know, one week later, for a thousand dollars. Okay, so let me back up here. So we're gonna back up. So I bought a share of Tesla for $1,200, but then I freak out and I just panic and I'm like, okay, oh my gosh, it's down to a thousand. I think it's gonna go down a lot more. So I sell it for a thousand. So what's my loss? Well, the loss, the loss here is, the loss is, about 1,200 less 1,000. 
Oops. Let's do this. $200. All right. So the loss is $200. Okay. So we all agree with this. We all agree that the loss is $200. Sorry, my crap. Handwriting's crappy. Okay. Now let's go and, and let's add another thing. Buy one share for one. Okay, so as we see now, I changed the facts. Now we bought one share, we bought that same share back for 950 bucks. Because you think, okay, it's bottomed out, it's gonna go back up. So now the question becomes, what is my loss? Your loss is zero. Because you bought it, this is where it triggered the wash sale. However, so let's let's look let's 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 break it down here. What was my what is my disallowed? Disallowed loss is twelve hundred minus a thousand two hundred, right? So this two hundred, a two hundred dollar loss is disallowed. So when you get your broker's statement, what it will show, what it will show is It'll show like usually a code W and it'll have $200 and your gain will be zero. Your loss will be zero. Now, you're like, I'm going to lose that forever. Well, you bought it in the same account, right? We'll assume that. So you have 950 bucks in there and that's what you bought it for. Your cost basis would be this $950, right? But you have this $200 disallowed loss. So, so yeah, write it down. Your new cost basis Your new cost basis will be $950, which is what you bought the new the, the share for, plus the $200 that you were disallowed. And then you'll have $1,150. That is your new cost basis. So this means that if Tesla goes back up to $1,200, your gain is only $50, not $250. So it's, it's it's nice because you don't lose it. The only time you lose it, again, is if I bought that share in a retirement account, then I lose it. So don't do that. Don't think that you're gonna skirt that way. And yes, it can go across brokers. So don't think that I'm gonna buy on Schwab and go do it on TD Ameritrade. Now, will they track it? I don't know. I don't know how that works. To be honest, um, if it would report on a brokerage statement like that, if TD Ameritrade would communicate to Schwab, I don't know. I can't be 100% certain on that. I do know that if you were to get audited on your taxes, that would definitely be disallowed. So don't don't try to do that. Just my tip is make sure that you think that before when you sell a stock that you think it's going to stay down for a little bit and that you're okay being out of it for at least a month. But if you're okay, then go ahead and do it. Just don't go and sell and buy back in. So hopefully this made sense. If you have any questions about wash sale, please let me know. Drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And again, if you got value out of this, like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends. Have a great day.